here I want to explain how to calculate plasma osmolarity. It's not hard to understand and calculate it. You just need the formula and the laboratory values from the patient's sample. Let me assume that you have given the patient's laboratory test and told to count the osmolarity of the blood of the patient. We can estimate the extracellular osmolarity using the following formula. Osmolarity equals 2 times sodium plus blood urea nitrogen divided by 2.8 plus glucose divided by 18. We write sodium 2 times because sodium is a cation and positively charged and for every cation we have an anion. So in this case sodium is binded with chloride, uh, chloride being the most abundant but not the only one. Again, it's very important to note that sodium is the most abundant osmol for the extracellular space. And now let's try to calculate blood osmolarity using this formula. These are lab values. Uh, as you see, the patient's sodium level is 140 milliequivalent per liter and we will multiply it by 2 because, as I already said, sodium is doubled because it's positively charged and thus for every positive charge there is a negative charge chloride being the most abundant but not the only one and it equals 2 to 180 then we take a look to blood urea nitrogen and glucose levels and as you see blood urea nitrogen here is 20 milligram per deciliter and glucose in this patient is 90 milligram per deciliter I'll put these here and here divided by 2.8 for blood urea nitrogen and 18 for glucose respectively. So we get 282 and this is the normal osmolarity of extracellular fluid.